What is popping guys? Welcome to a new YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be going over two mindset techniques or tools that you can equip yourself with to be a more effective and more high performance entrepreneur. These two mindset tips allow you to overcome obstacles. They allow you to overcome emotion and overcome challenges and things with your schedule that are perhaps out of your control. And as an entrepreneur, we want to equip ourselves with as many assets as we can get mentally that help us maneuver quicker or more seamlessly through the things that life throws at us. So let's go right into it. The two mindset shifts are called standard over schedule and standard over state. Now let's tackle standard over schedule first. And first let's define what a standard is. A standard is something that you commit to that is likely a recurring commitment. It can be in the realm of business or fitness or life or really anything. And essentially what standard over schedule means is you execute your standards no matter what happens with your schedule. So this may seem obvious, but it's incredibly powerful. And if you really understand the nuances of this mindset, you can 10x your consistency with the things that matter most to you. So in business as an entrepreneur, as you know, your schedule is constantly fluctuating. Things are co constantly being booked or you have to put out fires. You have to deal with this situation. This thing comes up. Um, you have to suddenly work on this project and you have to work late and, and wake up early and you know, things are changing all the time, right? And so you have certain standards that you must continue to execute despite these changes in your schedule. And again, these standards can be with your business or with your health or fitness or with your self growth, uh, maybe with your family, things of this nature. And so you might have the following standards. You might have, you might want to learn each day, maybe in direct specified knowledge with your business. Maybe you, maybe you already have a standard where you learn for 10 minutes at least each day, something like this. Maybe you've committed to at least four workouts in a week and those have to happen no matter what. Maybe you've committed to one family night per week. If you have a, you know, a, a spouse and kids, or maybe it's just like a family, like a sibling thing, or maybe it's like a social thing where you want to see your friends at least once a week or even twice a week or, or whatever that is to you. You have certain standards that you want to hit no matter what. And that's going to be different person to person based on the version of yourself that you want to become based on the balance in your life. Maybe you've had, maybe you have a meditation standard. You want to meditate each day. And, and, you, and you must do it no matter what. Or yeah, like it could be a, a thousand different things. You get the idea. And so what we can apply this to in regards of standard over schedule is if something comes up, let's say regarding the workouts, just move the workouts to other days in the week or shift around to different times. A lot of people, when things come up, they it overlaps their workout slot and boom, workout is not happening that week. It goes from four to three workouts per week. Standard over schedule suggests that four workouts are going to happen that week, no matter what. So if something pops up during the original workout time, it slides later that day or it moves to the next day and the other two shift to other days too. It's very simple, but it just ensures that the standard gets hit no matter what happens to your schedule. If something goes crazy in your day, shift the standards that are daily to some point in that day. If you have 10 minutes of learning in your day, no matter what, if something you know pops up in your morning where you usually learn for 10 minutes, do it at lunch, do it after, just make sure it happens at some point that day. So you can maintain consistency with your daily standard. And this is very simple, right? It, it may seem incredibly obvious when it, when you hear it coming out of my mouth, but it's just so effective. If you actually equip yourself with this mentality standard over schedule. And so you may already have standards like the ones I suggested, or again, a thousand other things, or you may not. So if you're in the bucket where you do not have standards already, the idea of a standard is kind of like a bare minimum, bare minimum uh, level of execution. So when you create standards, it's not the best case scenario where you're committing to an hour of learning each day, hour workout each day, and you know, all these things. And then if your schedule fits perfectly, then that, then you'd be able to execute all the standards. No, this, the standards are bare minimums. So they're more on the realistic and uh, sustainable side of the spectrum in regards of commitments. And so 10 minutes of something or one minute of something or one page of something or two pages of something, or you can get more aggressive and have bigger time limits, but just prepare yourself for being, for actually following through on that consistently, especially when your schedule gets crazy because anybody can commit to, you know, these far reaching standards and this and this and this and this, but when their schedule gets crazy, it all goes down the drain, right? So the idea of standards is something that will hold up even in the craziest environments of your schedule. 
And I'll add something here too. If sometimes your day gets so insane, like I'm not, I'm not gonna be ignorant to those outlier days that happen where maybe you're incredibly sick and you, know, you get sick for a week, right? Then you're not gonna work out. Like at that point, you don't have to execute your standard. Or if you're like, uh, you know, if a family, family emergency or something of this nature, um, you know, life happens, there will be situations where you're going to prioritize a lot of things. Like, let's say like your family member all of a sudden got super ill and you have to go like take care of them. You're not going to really care about your reading. Right. Um, or maybe you would still do it and it would be reading around whatever illness they have so you can help them. What I'm suggesting is you don't have to be perfect. There's always going to be those days. Um, for example, again, if you get sick, you're not going to work out. It's okay. Um, what I'm talking about here is how you should operate for 99% of your life, right? There's always going to be those outlier days, but for the vast majority of your life, standard over schedule is doable and it's effective. And I recommend you think about how you can apply it to your life. Now let's go chapter two here, standard over state, same idea. Your standards are executed no matter what state you're in. And so this one's a little bit juicy. Uh, it's a little bit harder in my opinion. And it, it takes some practice. So what I mean by standard over state is no matter what state you're in, as in state of being, as in emotional state of being, right? Whether you feel a little anxious or a little depressed or a little overwhelmed or, you know, all these emotions that hit you as an entrepreneur, I'm sure you can come up with a list of the ones that you experience most often, or maybe you have just in the past experienced most often. It's crucial that those same standards get hit no matter what type of emotional fluctuation you have during your week. And so those same four workouts, that same 10 minutes of, of, of reading, um, the same like family time, making sure those happen throughout the week, no matter how you feel. And honestly, the pages of reading, and if you have a meditation thing and the workouts, they'll help you with your emotions. Um, you just rarely want to do them when you're feeling that way. Um, just because when you're in those low emotional states, you rarely feel like doing anything. And so forcing yourself to do the things that you know are good for you, despite the fact that you don't feel like it, is incredibly important and it's imperative if you want to succeed as an entrepreneur. And this can be as simple as just doing the work in your business when you feel lazy or when you feel tired or when you feel like doing nothing. It can be as simple as that or it can be as drastic as you're feeling a very potent hit of depression. Maybe you're going through a breakup and uh, or a family member again got sick, um, something of this nature and you still must do your bare minimums like your workouts your meditations, your readings, these things will help you in those situations anyways, but just, just, and again, there's always going to be those outlier situations. I don't like to operate in absolutes where you must operate a certain way 100% of the time. But again, 99% of the time, 99% of the low emotions you experience, you can still, you can still find ways to around them. You can still find ways to execute your standards despite them. And there's different strategies to this. This is such a complicated kind of bucket. It's hard to simplify this idea because depending on the emotions you're, so for example, if you feel a little tinge of anxiety, sure, you can still easily execute or not easily, but you can still do workouts, do meditation, go do business work. If you're feeling those little mild ones, then this becomes kind of very simple. But if you're going through maybe a healing journey and you're experiencing a lot of your childhood trauma come up, or again, you're going through a very potent breakup, or you're, you're like extremely triggered, or you're going through grief, that's, and, and there's other things too, but you get the idea. If you're going through the really, the low of the lows of the emotions that life has to offer you, this can get a little more nuanced, and I'll give you a nuance, um, because I, I essentially covered standard over state already. Your standards get executed despite the emotional states that you're in, and so, that's that. But again, if you, if you hit those low of lows, maybe, you know, your entire, you know, business just crumbled, crumbled under you that you've been working on for 10 years. And you know, it's like the, the really low stuff, right? And in these situations, I've found that it can sometimes be useful to, instead of just immediately go crush your standards, um, in, in business or working out or whatever, I found that going through some type of healing process, before going back to execution mode can be better in some situations, depending on who you are, depending on what you're dealing with and, and, the, and the magnitude of it, right? So maybe, um, 
for example, instead of going right back into business, if you have business standards, is to do meditation first or to do some breathing or to do some journaling so you can really feel and express and heal whatever you're dealing with. Again, if you're going through something really deep, it can be productive to spend an hour or even a day just feeling it and breathing through it as opposed as opposed to try to like override it with execution. It can sometimes be more productive and more healthy to feel it, to express the pain, to cry, to yell if you need to, to go through your process, your healing process and, and let it out. And then you can wake up the next day or just next hour or whatever it is for you more refreshed and lighter, a more healed version of yourself. And you can feel like you have more energy and, and more bandwidth to actually go back into execution mode. So I'm not ignorant to that circumstance where it is better to just, let's say, ignore your, your uh, business standards for the day and go through a healing process. Again, if you're going through something really deep, again, this will be an outlier situation, right? 99% of the time you can go standard over state where you can execute no matter how you feel. But again, there are those outliers, both with standard over schedule and standard over state and just with license, life in general. It's hard to find absolutes in life, right? And so I just want to uh, provide you guys these tools, acknowledge the fact that there are outliers and but mainly just equip you with these tools because they are effective and they are healthy and they are gonna make you a more high performance entrepreneur 99% of the time. So again, standard over schedule, standard over state. The prerequisite to all this is again, having or creating standards. So that's what I recommend doing first if you currently don't have any. So in regards to the version of yourself you wanna develop into, um, whether it's fitness or self growth, determine a few things, one to three things that you can start committing to on a daily or weekly basis to develop into that version. Same with business, what are the most important things? You may already have those if you're an established entrepreneur you likely already do. But if there's areas of your life that you want to develop, create standards around them, give them non-negotiable energy and execute them again, no matter what happens with your schedule or no matter what, or no matter how you feel. These are two very potent things. And these are the two things that typically knock entrepreneurs off track, especially if we're talking about, let's say their health and fitness or their self growth habits, their schedule or the way that they feel are typically the things that lead to inconsistency. So I hope this was useful for you. Um, Again, those nuances can, can be kind of tricky and it's hard to know kind of which angle to go sometimes, um, whether you should like just override it and execute or maybe go take an hour a day to heal in that example, right? So start to discover yourself, gain self-awareness around what works for you. I just, again, wanted to stimulate you with this idea. Feel free to comment down below if you have any questions about this or maybe if you have a specific example of how to apply this or if you have an example of how you've already applied it and it's worked for you, we'd love to hear from you. And feel free to hit me up on Instagram if you have any further questions as well. Whatever works best, the link will be in the description. So I appreciate you watching if, you're, if you've stuck with me to the end. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.